just a quickie, this is just an update to the code. We have improved it to add default values. So if you just press enter on your way through, it will actually give you some numbers that won't crash the program and will give you some possibly usable output. Down here it now calculates the horizon dip angle and and then prints that variable rather than just calculate and print it on screen. And it calculates a horizon distance and puts that on the screen. The calculations are the same. But the output now gives each variable, each bear each uh, dip angle its own line. And after that, it puts the difference between that and the horizon dip angle, and whether it's above or below the horizon. I've also added one thing to the line of general info for which set of variables it's showing, which is the distance. Oh, I've added two things. I've added the angular height and the distance. Distance, because you want to know how far away an object is, or you, you already know how far away it is, and you want to compare that to how much you can or should be able to see angular height so that you can compare what you're seeing in here to the angular resolution of your camera or whatever you're using to view things. This way the next time somebody tells you that things aren't going over the horizon, they're disappearing into it because they're going too far away for you to resolve, you can point out that the ang angular resolution limit of your camera is some tiny fraction of a degree and these things are way bigger than that. So I'm going to put the observer at 500 meters and default value of how far away from the line I am and default value for it's actually screw it start at half a degree away start at quarter of a degree away and we shall go fairly fast we shall go at 0 0.025 degrees per iteration and we'll go all the way to 10 degrees over the horizon I can always just press escape if I don't want to see it all earth radius we have a default value if I just press enter it will give me 6371 kilometers but I'm going to go with 70 Hang on. 7 sixths are. 7 over 6 is times 6371 is 743283. There we go. 743283. There's no number pad on a BBC Micro keyboard. And we're going to have a really tall ship. 100 to the top of the hull, 200 to the top of the superstructure, 300 to the top of the funnel. There's a horizon dip angle from that high, and the distance 86 kilometers. The first point is only 32 kilometers away, and as it says here, here on the left, before the horizon. Waterline and gunla below the horizon, superstructure and funnel above it. There it goes, 36, 39, 42 kilometers away. You can see all those angles getting smaller as the ship is rising in our field of view towards the horizon and at that distance, 49, 49 kilometers, near enough, the gunnel is actually above the horizon, somewhere between 45 and 49, it's got to the point where the horizon is now behind the hull rather than behind the superstructure. Five hundred meters up, you get a very distant horizon. Still before the horizon there, and then beyond it. Somewhere between 84 and 88 kilometers, it goes over the horizon. You can see that the uh, waterline angle just before it went over was 0 0.000163 degrees. And just after it's gone over the horizon, 0 0.000081 degrees. Not 810 from being proper to three significant figures. The rest of it is still visible above, above the horizon. The 
can see all of the actual angles on the left are now increasing because it's gone beyond the horizon. It is sinking down in your field of view. The angular size, the angular height of the thing is getting kind of tiny, 0.17 degrees. And the angle below the horizon is increasing, the angles above the horizon are decreasing, as you'd expect with it going down in your field of view. They're also increasing faster and faster because it's going over a curve. You can still see a lot of this ship. 120 kilometers away. There we go. The top of the hull has now disappeared below the horizon at 126 and a bit kilometers. Only just. You can see it's a tiny change from 0.0036 above to 0.0041 below. And a hundred and f somewhere between 139 and 143 kilometers away, the top of the superstructure goes below the horizon. At this distance, you can still see that, well, the funnel's still high enough to see whether you can still make it out. Depends on the angular width of the funnel. The angular height of the whole ship, 0.12 degrees, it's going below the horizon, and point not not something here. <laughs> So if you can still see it, if you could still see the superstructure back here where it was 0 0.0134 degrees above the horizon, that means that 0 0.0134 degrees is a big enough angular size for you to see it. 0 0.126 definitely is. So it was definitely visible. I mean, if you can see it, it was visible. You don't really need the numbers on the screen. If you can see the damn thing, it's visible. The part of it that's not visible is not visible, not because it's a long way away, but because it's below and behind the horizon. And there you go, it's gone completely below the horizon, and uh, by the time it gets to 156 kilometres. 1.2 degrees away.